morning and welcome back to Jakarta. I've just come to Kota Tua, the old square of Jakarta. I've been here a couple times before in my vlogs, but I've never been into this museum. So that's what I'm going to go do now with Steph. Hello. And yet again, it's closed. <laughs> I've been here three times now, and every time I've been here, this museum has been closed. But it's closed for these two days, apparently. It opens again tomorrow. Just my luck. Our luck. But I'm hungry anyway. Let's get something to eat. That was kind of perfect. This museum's closed too. All the museums here are closed because it's a holy day today. Oops. I think as far as vlogging goes, I'm okay. As far as planning goes, not so good. <laughs> So Cafe Batavia is a famous cafe here that is usually quite expensive but during weekdays they do a special menu, special menu that is much cheaper which we were going to check out but today they're not doing the special menu because it's a holy day <laughs> so it's their normal expensive menu find somewhere cheaper like this place So the meals in Cafe Batavia were 75,000, which is about five pounds each. The meals here, Ta -da! about a pound each or less. Ooh. Steph just said this is really spicy. I agree. <laughs> oh god, that is spicy. My lips actually hurt. That might be one of the spiciest ayam panyets I've ever had. It is the spiciest. Nice, and soto ayam for me. Ooh, that looks good as well. Soto ayam, or chicken noodle soup with rice. Oh, gone. I remember I put this building on my Instagram months ago. I just thought it looked really cool and old. But it still does. No. Yeah. Beep beep. Even when we're walking, we have traffic here in Japan. <laughs> People. <laughs> I've never been here when it's been busy like this. something slightly different, a puppet street performance in the middle of Cote Tour. Anyway, this place is way too busy right now, so we're going to get out of here. Wait for that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we 
decided to get the bus back because it's about 10 times cheaper. That might have looked quick, but that took about an hour waiting for the bus. <laughs> Back in the flat now, and the bus journey took about two hours in total and saved us about 70,000 rupiah. We had time, so we thought, why not? I had a bit of a revelation. Up until now, on the blog, I've been converting everything into pounds, and I've just realized that I don't really know why I'm doing that. Everything I earn online is in dollars, and everything I spend in other countries is in a different currency. So I've been converting things back to pounds and figuring out how much pounds it costs. But now I'm going to start figuring out how everything costs in dollars instead. So anything I buy and I give you the conversion for, I'll give you the conversion in US dollars. It just makes more sense for me. That's what I'm earning in. And also the pounds dropped massively recently so I don't want to figure out things in pounds either. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go get some street food now. It's the evening already, and let's go convert some street food into dollars. By the way, there's lots of street singers whenever you get street food anyway. It's kind of good. And we've opted for satay pad. It's like beef satay with a nice sauce. And these things, check this out, are like giant rice cake things. Just soak it up. Condensed rice, basically. Um, by the way, talking about converting currencies, this for each one of these meals it was one dollar twenty-five, about seventeen thousand rupiah. It's pretty cheap. And what is it? Pineapple juice. Okay. Pineapple juice. Um, it's ten thousand. Ten thousand. So what's that? That's like eighty cents. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I deserve that. Karma. That's some good stuff. Right, and finally, check this out. This is banana, well, fried banana with cheese and milk on top. Well, oh, oops. And I don't know, I've never heard of that anywhere else in the world, but banana it's and good. cheese. Right, it's my favorite. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I've never had banana and cheese in my life before. Really? I think. It's really good. Fried banana and cheese. To be fair, it is actually really good. And I love loads of the street food here in Indonesia, but you guys have like so little in ways of healthy food. <laughs> it's like fried banana with cheese, fried meat with rice and sauce. <laughs> it's all fried, but it's all really good as well. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Just a little taster of some Indonesian street food. 
fried banana with grated cheese on top. Try it at home. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna finish it there anyway. After this, I'm just gonna go to sleep. So anyway, for now, welcome back to Indonesia again. Thank you for watching, and this is my life.